at this squad, 97 overall, you're already going to see some very interesting stuff. Number one, which was news to me as of literally this moment, Mike Ditka was a cowboy. And yeah, call me a casual all you want, but I always think of Mike Ditka as a bear. Now, obviously, he was most impactful as a Chicago bear, but he played four years for the Dallas Cowboys. So we've got ourselves a 99 overall tight end. Also hilarious and also really frustrating. I kept noticing on my wheel of mutt, you guys kept saying I pulled a Dak Prescott, and I didn't get the reference until I remembered that this season, Dak Prescott in the play playoffs tried to scramble with no time left and they lost the game i wouldn't necessarily blame dak i actually really love dak prescott i think and this is gonna piss people off because this is a cowboys theme team but i think the top two worst fan bases in the nfl it might be philadelphia eagles and dallas cowboys although the patriots are up there too our offensive line, Tyron Smith, Larry Allen, Tyre Bida, Zach Martin, and Charles Haley, because he has an out-of-position right tackle. But either way, I gotta say, this might be one of the first years where the Dallas Cowboys theme team offensive line is not insane insane. I'm used to every single year, there's like a 98 overall Travis Frederick and a 98 plus overall Tyron Smith, usually a 99. The best card he has is a 90 overall. Larry Allen has a 93. Bida, I think, is usually a 95. Zach Martin is is significantly boosted. Him up to 95 is sick. And then Charles Haley kind of saves us here because he's not even actually a right tackle. But you do have some insane things to look forward to on this team too. The halfback is not Zeke Elliott. It is Tony Pollard, Tavon Austin, and Larry Zonka. Yes, I know how weird that sounds. You've also got wide receiver Deion Sanders. You've got this insane gold 99 Amari Cooper, which I'm so excited about. So sad for the Cowboys that he is no longer with them. I hope he does amazing on the Browns with Deshaun Watson. I love Amari Cooper and I loved him on the Cowboys. You got Trayvon Diggs, wide receiver, out of position. And then, ironically, CD Lamb is in at wide receiver four. But now that I look at that, I'm actually going to switch this. I'm going to switch CD Lamb and Primetime. It's a crime that Primetime as a wide receiver has a better card than CD Lamb does. So we're going to put him in. We also have Dalton Schultz. I love Dalton Schultz. This was like my sleeper fantasy pick. I got him pretty damn late, and he was very solid as a tight end one. We gotta look at the stats, though. On the gold 99, Madden Machines, Dak Prescott, this card is ridiculous. It also boosts a bunch of stats for your players. So Dak Prescott's motivator, it boosts wide receivers, O-line, and running backs, which is so dope. That is actually insane to make your whole offensive line better just for Dak Prescott being on your team. Not to mention, he's an incredible quarterback, got dashing that eye, quick draw, and hot route master for 6 AP, which is insane. Randall Cunningham used to be the best quarterback quarterback in the game. That is certainly no longer the case. This Dak is the best quarterback in the game. Also, a huge shout out to the homie Shane for letting me use his Dallas Cowboys theme team. My man went all out. He has 263 coins left. He is in poverty. But you know what? He built one hell of a Cowboys theme team. So appreciate you for that, bro. We got Roy Williams up at free safety. Demarcus Ware, a 99 at right outside linebacker. Leighton Vander Esch. I love Leighton Vander Esch. One of my favorites. He was a stud team of the year linebacker in Wheel of Mutt Madden 19. That was a long time ago, but he was amazing. Damian Wilson also at linebacker, a 99 overall as well. You got Micah Parsons, 97. You guys know I love Micah Parsons, one of my favorites. Now, as you guys know, a lot of theme teams are going to have Cam Chancellor John Lynch up here. He had both Cam Chancellor and John Lynch. Neither of them are Cowboys. So for sake of immersion, I'm putting Byron Jones. Yeah, this is going to get really weird. I'm putting Byron Jones as strong safety. I mean, it's that or I go Keanu Neal, who is also really bad. Diggs, obviously at corner, 99 overall. He's going to be incredible. Ed Tutal Jones, 99. Holy shit. Jay Ratliff, Mean Joe Green. No, that can't be right. Mean Joe Green was not a... We got, we got a cheated theme team here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just kidding. Shane, I love you. Thanks for the squad, bro. Let's throw Brent Urban in there. He has half of the name of Urban Meyer. He has to be good at football. Randy Gregory! Oh my god, can you believe the fucking Randy Gregory thing? The Cowboys Instagram posted that they re-signed Randy Gregory. Literally an hour later, it what? all dropped that Randy Gregory signed with the Broncos. We've also got Mel Renfro. And the gold 99 primetime, which is basically a golden ticket. This card is broken. You've seen it on a few different theme teams, because primetime played for a lot of teams in his career. Damn near 99 everything, and you can put him as your punt return, kick return. It's gonna be on teams for the next four months, for sure. Ooh, he's 0-1. Our boy Shane is 0-1 here with the Dallas Cowboys theme team. Let's get him out on a hot start. Whoa, he's 0-2? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, it says week one is unavailable. Oh, shit, he's actually 0-2. All right, shit, hey. 
Also, a huge shout out to Raycon for continuing to sponsor my videos. In my ear right now are Raycon's everyday earbuds. And they look, feel, and sound better than ever. They've got optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. And that's why, honestly, they're the perfect gym earbud. I cannot tell you how many earbuds I've been through in the gym that fall out in the middle of the set. It is the most frustrating thing, and it's also kind of embarrassing because you got to scramble around the gym and try and find them. But check these out. Ready? Still in there. If the everyday earbuds can handle my insane energy while making a video, they're definitely not budging. They also offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. And they are priced amazingly. You get quality audio for half the price of other premium audio brands. It's not a mystery that they've got 48,000 five star reviews. So make sure to click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com forward slash MMG to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Raycon, thank you for sponsoring today's video guys enjoy the rest Dak Prescott Damian Wilson Amari Cooper Damian Wilson looks out of place there but the other two I really like Junior say out Randy Moss this is a Raiders theme team money man all right money man let's see the Raiders theme team in action he's on Marcus Davenport Ooh, Dak you want to take off oh shoot low-key I was hoping that I wouldn't cross the line of scrimmage so that I could use your playmaker but we will take a beautiful 12 yards right there Dude, I love this team. I'm such a bandwagon. I can't believe I'm bandwagoning the Cowboys. I can't believe that's my bandwagon team. I just fucking love them. Oh my God. Whoa, could have been a lot worse. Pinch inside. Let's go Pollard, cut it back. Ah, I tried to jukebox that through the gap, but I didn't get it. Oh, why? Wide open. Booper. Yes. I was just about to say, if you roll the wrong way, bro, I'm going to be pissed. He's clamping me up a little bit, but look at that. Look at the Tom Brady read. A little sit down from CD Lamb. Ooh, do you think Cooper's open here? Oh, he's so open. They're all dropping back. I guess nobody wants to block, but the RPO gets his two yards. That's a first down. This is the weirdest offense I think I've ever ran, but it's working. See how this sets up. There's Pollard wide open. Give me those blocks. A lot of X factors on those Raiders, man. It's kind of scaring me. Let's see it. Yes, sir. Great block. Juke inside. Hey, five yards per run play is spectacular. I'm gonna send Schultz, Lamb underneath. Oh, Schultz might have been there, bro. But CeeDee Lamb's got it because he does not switch on to lurk that up. I think if he switches on, he might be able to pick that off. Third and one. Let's see it, Pollard. Oh my God, that D-line is crazy good. Fourth and one, right up the gut, I believe. Let's go, Pollard. You got that. Yes, sir. This is true Cowboys football. Or at least it used to be. Cowboys football used to be feed Zeke. I feel like it's kind of like, oh, oh shit, no. we're losing by 20. We have to pass the ball a lot. <laughs> Calling up some audibles for Dick Cut. Is he there? Oh, my fucking God. He torched him. And it wasn't even close. I'm going to try the stretch again. I don't think they'll expect it here. Yup, he's playing back. Get a juke. Holy shit. Hell of a play. That Ronnie Lott is very good. It's hard to go right at that Ronnie Lott. I'm going to look for Ditka again, dude. You think Ditka might have that corner route locked up? It's not, but the underneath is. If Dix can catch it, he does. Two feet down. That's a first down, too. What a play. This is the most efficient clock management I've ever done, and it's on accident. Get to the edge. Get to the edge. Juke inside. Yes, sir. <laughs> what a juke. There were two on the contain, and they couldn't get to him. Spectacular play, and I never run this. I know it's not open, but I'm going to run it. All right, the blocking is actually pretty good right now. It's just up to Ditka to aggro. There's a stupid play call. I just wanted to dick around a little bit. Stupid. Ooh, there's a lot open, but he elects to keep it. Oh, I was hoping Van Der Esch would just clock him. Third and two. Let's put some contains on and get the quarterback. Oh, he's going to scramble again. Throws underneath. Good throw. And I think he got that. Oh, no, he's going to roll right. He's so fast. He's so fast. Come on. Let's go. Diggs pops in there. And that was Byron Jones. Oh, I had the perfect, the perfect angle, and I fucked it up. You know, that's actually not the worst case scenario. It kind of sucks, but I do have three timeouts in 34 seconds, and he gets ball at half, so I have to score here. There he is. There he is. Great catch, Ditka. And let's call a timeout. 20 seconds. Look at him. Look at Pollard. What a throw by Dak Prescott. Oh, my God. Dak Prescott. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, don't even gotta. Just gonna take off with Dak. <laughs> you don't need a skate artist. It's a myth. What a fucking play, dude. I thought for sure I was gonna catch that, go on a bounce, stop the clock, and set something else up. And he just made it happen. This is tight end attack. He can throw underneath. What? That was so weird. Oh, maybe he was going for the quarterback. I think my corner was going for the quarterback. He looked like he was gonna pick it off. 
Hey, good play, Vanderesh. I dropped everyone into pass, bro. That's why he had such a big hole. Yup. Oh, no, we were there that time, I thought. Marcus Allen's having a field day with the D-line right now. Hey, Ed Tutal Jones, great move. Needed that right there. He's gonna throw up there, I knew it! Oh! Oh, we dove for it. Hey, good play. Great play by Roy Williams. We dove for that, but couldn't get it. This guy has a two-play playbook, but it's working. Yes, sir. Oh my God, we clogged that. Trayvon Diggs is my biggest hitter right now. No question, he's my biggest hitter right now. Let's go. Let's go, we're there. Right. Guys, uh, for real? Oh, this is man. Oh shit, that's not good. Ooh, <laughs> Trayvon Diggs. Biggest play of the game so far. It's gonna be man again. There's Ditka wide open. Hey, and he moves through Ronnie Lott. I'm gonna put Pollard on a corner route. I don't know how the fuck he's my tight end, but he's gotta be able to burn his man like that, right? Oh, he torched him. He torched him and a great catch from Pollard. There's Mike Ditka one more time. He is, he's just the guy. Oh, it's a blitz. Amari Cooper. We are efficiently sharing this ball. We are not turning it over. Yes, sir. I'm just going to send him and let Dak get some yards. Six yards for Dak Prescott. No escape artist needed. Go back to the ground game. He's seen so many passes. Will he be ready for a stretch? Pressure's down the middle. The gap is there. And Pollard just... Barely tackled by Randy Moss on the goal line. And I'm going for two. I think this could be a massive difference in this game if I can get it. Because he's been able to score really efficiently as well. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yes, sir. Let's go. Amari Cooper for two. I was scared he was going to drop back to that. Hell of a play. I probably could have stopped and go to him too. Had a lot of options there. We made it work. 22 to 14. I feel spectacular going into this fourth quarter. He can't run the ball. He doesn't have the clock for it. Yeah, he has to do this. And I'm on this now. I'm on this now! Yes! That's exactly how you clamp this play. I figured it out. Let's go! Michael Parsons, two sacks. Same thing. Let's see if he goes to the play action. Fourth and 12. We dagger the game right here. Play action. There it is. He's looking for Randy Moss. Read you like a fucking book! Byron Jones, I just wanted you to touch the ball. I'm sorry, you're strong safety. Get him out of there. Wow, that was textbook. Cowboy Steve team. I was hoping there might be a scenario in that game where I could run up the middle with Dak Prescott and, you know, like the clock would run out. But it's obviously, you know, if you get a rage quit, not going to happen. Spectacular game. We got our boy on the board with a 22 to 14 dub. Hey, that's a badass theme team. I love the Cowboys theme team. Shane, thank you again, bro. For let me use your squad. You're a stud. That's it for now. I love you, boys. Thanks for watching as always. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.